data analytics is not something which you can take a course and learn in a while it is a process every time you go through a data it develops bit by bit the interviewer will obviously want to know what kind of a analytical thinking you have if a particular data is given to you as a data analyst in start they can expect a salary Hi everyone welcome back to Boss Coder Academy's YouTube channel today we have another great podcast with us we have invited Soumya Avasti who has worked as a data analyst in companies like Accenture and currently she is in Gartner so i can't wait to share the insights with you all what we have discussed in the podcast and stay tuned till the end because we have a lot of insights in the middle of the video as well and if you like this video give us a thumbs up share it with your friends who are looking to become a data analyst and also consider subscribing the channel because a lot of other good videos are on the way so without any delay let's get started hi everyone somya has finally joined us on the podcast thank you so much for joining somya and why don't we start with a brief introduction about yourself hi rahim uh, so yes uh, this is somya here everyone and let me start with my uh, college journey so i have completed my graduation from jaipur in computer science and engineering branch and after that um, i took one year of gap and uh, after that i started with accenture as a fresher i got trained in the company and uh, i got a opportunity to work with a project as a power bi developer initially i thought it was a opportunity which will focus purely on power bi as a platform but no it was a, bl- a broader uh, you know uh, opportunity for me i have worked as a data analyst there i have worked on different platforms i have learned so many things and uh, yeah recently i have joined gartner uh, as associate data analytical engineer and it is a great journey for me till now that's great and uh, can you tell me what what do you do as a data analyst on a day to day basis so as a data analyst my day to day work involves knowing the data what kind of a data we have right uh, we explore the data uh, for the different questions stakeholder put uh, on us right the different questions uh, they want answers for right and we explore the data we uh, see the trends of the data and uh, make visualizations on them mm-hmm. to explain what kind of a trend we have observed right and uh, after that what what is the main thing is analyzing the data well we have to find the trends we have to make sure that we are not analyzing the data on the basis of any bias and uh, communicate our findings to the stakeholders is the main thing to do all these things we use platforms like uh, excel sql server management studio and uh, azure data factory and the uh, visualization platform which is widely used in corporate world is uh, power bi and vizier i have uh, learned this is me okay uh, so can you uh, highlight some questions that you were asked when you sat for interviews for data analyst role sure so the questions were all related to uh, sql power bi mm-hmm. and how i think about data analytics right so data analytics is not something which you can uh, take a course and you know learn in a while it is a process so every time you go through a data it develops bit by bit right so when you study the data you think in a way that this is the question and now i have to find the answers through this data so how the approach should be what kind of a question i should be asking stakeholders what kind of a question i should be asking to the data so data is a playground where i will be playing every time in that canvas what kind of a question i can put up right and how those answers are being you know there in the data and how how i i am exploring it so this is all is analytical skill i have to play it around right the interviewer will obviously want to know what kind of a analytical thinking you have if a particular data is given to you in power bi what kind of a visual you will use to represent this kind of a data in sql they will uh, surely ask questions related to select statements joins drop delete group by having clause so these are the main topics which uh, interviewer obviously cover in data analytics interview 
Okay. And what does the interview process look like? What kind of rounds are there? So interview process mainly starts with a screening round where HR person uh, try to understand what experience do you have and uh, what skills do you have? You should be having skills like uh, Excel. You should be at least good in Excel, right? You can also, you know, uh, show your skills in Power BI, in uh, Azure Data Factories. It is widely used in corporate nowadays not nowadays it is used in a corporate and um, yes so these are the main you know uh, tools they want to understand do you have experience in that or not so after the screening round it comes to a technical round it could be a written round where you have to write your answers it could be a multiple choice questions and it could also be a face to face interview with manager of the team or a technical person like that so the questions will be from sql from excel from power bi your analytical knowledge and how you tackle the problem because data analyst encounters so many problems in day to day basis right so how you handle those problems right if you are stuck what is your approach to solve that hurdle which you have faced so they would like to understand that the next round will be the techno cultural round in that round there will be some technical scenarios which will be given to you they will try to understand how you respond to the particular scenario so scenarios could be you have uh, two three projects in line for a day you have to complete those project in a day right and uh, these are the hurdles you are facing how will you react in this situation you found your stakeholder is expecting too much from you mm-hmm. and uh, you cannot meet their deadlines how will you uh, talk to them your manager has uh, assigned you a task and you found that the data has something uh, missing in it or uh, there is a discrepancy in the data so how will you communicate to your manager so these kind of questions are very common in techno cultural round then the last round will be obviously the like cultural fit round they will ask you questions related to how you work uh, how you manage your task of the day they will try to understand what is the way you function right and uh, they will obviously ask about you uh, your uh, experience in uh, previous company so these are uh, these are the rounds and important points to focus on right and what was your strategy for these interviews and also like if someone let's say uh, has to give these interviews right and it is their let's say first time so what is the preparation strategy they should follow to uh, be able to crack uh, data analyst interviews so first of all they should be having skills in hand i would recommend uh, start with excel if you are new and starting to prepare uh, to crack interview for data analyst start with excel download some dummy data from various uh, website it is available nowadays mm-hmm. download some data sets play around them make pivot tables try to make some dummy questions or you can also you know uh, have those kind of dummy questions around that data available on the website try to find answers for that questions make mini projects out of uh, that data right so you will have a hands on experience on excel which will help you uh, you know grow analytical skills in you and then comes the sql it is very important because a data analyst have to work on sql databases on day to day basis so it is very important for you to answer sql queries write sql queries topics which i have said just select delete drop having order by clause a uh, where clause how join works because we always works with multiple tables and it happens we have to work with joins try to write nested queries so these are the main topics you should be covering you should uh, practice these on dummy data and then next is uh, be having hands on experience on a power bi at least uh, power bi is widely used nowadays the desktop version is free at least you can download dummy data sets play around different visuals on power bi see how modeling works there right and there are many things try to make interactive dash- dashboards there are so many example present on uh, internet there are so many free resources who are teaching you how to make good attractive and interactive dashboards try to play around different different formats different colors and everything so these are the three main platforms you should be focusing on and uh, try to ask more questions uh, from people take help 
wherever you are stuck there are people on linkedin i am also available on linkedin i usually try to help people wherever you know they ask questions so it is very important ask questions mm-hmm. whenever you feel you are stuck ask questions and people are there to help you every time let's say someone in a different career field uh, let's say software tester right uh, and they want to switch to data analytics field what are the steps they need to take okay so for working professionals i would recommend go for certification as in corporate uh, Uh, companies are offering free certifications so they have a chance to do certifications one of my favorite is uh, google data analytics uh, i am also doing it and kind of completing the certification the next is az 900 this will help you to uh, understand the azure platform more azure data factories and everything then you can focus on excel sql and power bi so these three tools will help you understand analytics process right and you can up- upskill in the these three platform you can make mini projects around them in mm-hmm. excel you can make mini projects in uh, power bi you can make two three dashboards of different different uh, data sets of different examples right you can explore them and yeah i understand with work uh, it is difficult to you know manage time to prepare so um, if you can give a time like 2 3 hours a day that will be sufficient it will take around 2 3 months to prepare easily you can prepare in 2 3 months if you if you will be consistent uh, through the period and yeah so the same thing which i told for you know uh, a person which is starting from a scratch so th- these are the tools you should master so i was going through your linkedin profile and uh, i came across a section which reads i love my job and i was quite intrigued by that like uh, can you tell our audience what is the best thing about being a data analyst what is the part of your job that you love when i started my journey as a data analyst uh, i was overwhelmed because there are so many things which were new to me as time passed as i uh, you know grew my experience in uh, the profile so uh, i found that yeah there are so many new things to learn every day mm-hmm. and uh, honestly if i will tell you i face so many problems i have sometimes made blunder also you know uh, made chaos in the project but every time that happened i learned a very you know important lesson or something new uh so it excites me i i have learned some, something new every time i got obstacle in the way and the next thing is uh during my professional journey um one of our senior lead you know came to us one day and told me uh that told us we were talking in a group and he told us that what do you think the kind of work you are doing what do you think kind of impact it is making so we were clueless uh we were just doing our work and uh, we asked what is the impact it is creating so he showed us he showed the you know broader view how the data is being used on the broader level to solve a particular problem and mm. that day i was so amazed and i was so proud of my profile that okay so this is the broader you know a uh, question which we are a uh, part of solving this question so yeah. i was i was very happy to know that and that day i realized yeah this profile is for me and i am surely going to you know explore more uh, on this profile i think we have discussed a lot about the strategy the impact of being a data analyst but i think our audience will also be interested in the numbers part like how much salary can they expect being a data analyst and what does the road map look like the career road map for them yeah so uh, as a data analyst in start they can expect a salary of 4 to 4.5 lpa maybe it depends on the company purely i feel like data analyst uh, as a role is a base for many paths you know a person can explore so many paths like data engineering data science if they want to move forward in data analyst analyst path only so there is a whole full proof career in data analytics as well so nowadays we are you know generating lots and lots of data every day so every time you know you will encounter a new kind of a project new kind of a requirement from uh, stakeholders uh, on the day to day basis right so moving forward in data analytics role or or any other role yeah uh, by time you can expect uh, a salary of uh, around 10 lpa so these are the numbers and i feel like when we grow in a certain role it is important how well we are money you know just comes in uh, through the journey so it is important to upskill yourself 
first hai na and then expect so it, it happened with me as well i i focused on upskilling more and uh, money just started you know <laughs> coming on the way so we have seen a lot of layoffs due to geopolitics market conditions pandemic right and uh, they have significantly impacted the job market right both freshers and experienced professionals are struggling right now so uh, the data science industry is relatively new like in terms of growth right and in the initial stage of development how do you think this industry will evolve in the future will there be more jobs in the future as well uh, what do you think yeah so uh, about the industry evolving i feel like there is a whole lot of opportunity uh, will be there in future because yeah i accept market is not very uh, good it is so fragile uh, people are getting laid off many of my cro- close friends also got laid off and i can feel the stress of uh, people are facing nowadays but yeah in the data analytics role or any role related to data nowadays it will be you know uh, exploring new dimensions of of it because as i can see market many big big organizations are investing in ai data analytics data engineering as i can you know uh, quote accenture only so accenture has invested 2 million recently in ai field so this will impact the market this is the sign that the opportunities are coming so don't get disheartened if you are preparing for uh, you know being a data analyst so yeah uh, there will be opportunities there will be chances yeah and you know you you will uh, land up on a job of uh, your dream path right so far it has been a great podcast i think and to make it more interesting we are going to start with the rapid fire round and in this round basically somya has to answer a question within 10 seconds or less so whenever you are ready somya we can start first question what is your favorite data analysis tool pubbie would you rather wake up early or work till late i will wake up early not a night person if you were not a data analyst what would you be i would be a singer or a sketching artist wow, amazing what's on your bucket list uh travel lot of places mainly mountains i love them <laughs> and which keyboard shortcut do you use the most alt tab and control c control v these which, are the main one <laughs> yeah definitely for me as well which one would you choose android ios or windows that is hard ios is good uh, but windows also works for me yeah an application you can't imagine your life without uh application linkedin i am great fan of linkedin nowadays right your advice to aspiring data analysts in just three words uh don't get disheartened uh be consistent just learn and practice that's it i think from somya she had uh, a great podcast i hope and uh, thank you so much somya for sharing the insights with us in this podcast and taking the time so uh, thank you so much and see you again sometime thank you bye 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 bye